hello friends hope you're doing good uh, this will be a quick video on building a data driven you know trading plan or a day plan using volume profile order flow etc uh, i think a few folks have asked for it and this is long due so this will be a quick one to help you understand how i build on it and what are the core constructs that i'm using to help build the trading plan okay so we'll take uh, nifty futures as an example and then build on, uh, layers on top of it to help build the trading plan what you see here is the nifty futures price chart on the left side and the order flow or footprint chart on the right side okay so uh, before even we build the plan i think there are what are the core themes okay based on what we build the plan one is uh, i have always been telling you guys you know build a plan which you can execute fast okay so if if the plan has too much of complexity too many indicators too many data points etc and we we want to monitor it real time when data is changing very fast in the market it is very difficult to execute those plans so i think the focus has to be on building a plan which is simple which you can execute and which you can execute fast and then react to uh, fast okay that is number one number two don't try to build too many levels okay uh, because if you try to build too many levels every level let's say every 20 30 point away there is a level or something okay then it will always some of them will always work and when you look at it at the end of the day you'll feel like okay this worked that worked okay so this level worked and that doesn't help you eventually make money okay our focus has to be the, the plan which helps me to execute better which helps me to make money so i don't want to build you know do too many things which is you know uh, essentially helping me doing 20, 20 30 levels okay so make it simple uh, if possible even do one level at a day at one level at a day or your trade plan just one level even if it's possible drill down to one level ask yourself which is my most important level okay uh, so and the the last part is focus on more recent data so sometimes what will happen is you will have some weekly monthly daily levels all around similar places so which one do i focus on i think i keep it simple where i say okay i'll focus on the most recent data so my last daily data has higher weightage than the weekly and the weekly has a higher weightage than the monthly if it, it comes to that or maybe a data which was three days back or five days back has less weightage than the data that was generated yesterday okay these are the th uh, three four constructs i'm using to build the trading plan okay now my trading plan is based on three things one is the structure identifying the structure where market is what market is trying to do what are the you know what is the price structure what is the value area structure and whether it's trending in range etc and number two is to uh, identify zones which i'll use the volume profile etc for identifying those zones okay and and then finally uh, finally number three is uh, you know the execution levels which is based on the order flow stuff okay so my trading plan will be based on these three four things now for structure what we are looking at is uh, you know uh, what market structure is like whether it's uh, it's uh, the price structure or the price trend in very simple terms i'm generally what i'm doing to is if my execution time frame is five minute or three minute i'm trying to build the plan based on a let's say a 15 minute chart or a 30 minute chart so just trying to build a plan at a higher time frame chart to keep some noise away i think that is one of the things we are trying to do okay now when i'm saying structure I think the ask is simple. Uh, we, what we are trying to do is seeing what the market is trying to do in terms of uh, making a higher high, higher low, etc. That is one. Second is uh, whether uh, market is what is the structure of the value area. Okay, uh, in terms of whether the value area is forming, you know, new highs, new lows. Okay, that is the second thing. Third thing is whether it's trending in range. That that way we can determine through the composite value area. Typically, I'm looking at the composite value area to quickly determine whether it is trending in range, etc. So I'll quickly do this for you. Let's say we have the volume uh, profile plot here. Okay, so we'll have the volume profile plot here. Now uh, let's uh, even even before I do the session volume profile, I think let's do one thing. We'll just talk about the you know uh, composite volume profile here okay now if you see composite volume profile first of all your you know first of all our our what is our price trend here okay price trend is i think what we're looking at is whether it's forming higher high higher lows or not okay in this case if you see uh, now after after a sort of a you know forming a price trend of down uh, you know higher lows higher uh, sort of lower lows and higher high lower highs it has pulled back into the range and consolidating in the range okay so this is my price trend kind of suggests at this point okay it's a consolidation potential failed 
break on top but still holding the lows here as well so we are in a, a kind of a mini value range if you see in this uh, from you know if you if you see from this gap or this uh, gap here we are kind of within this value range if you look at the composite area it quickly gives you that view okay where we are okay so if you see the composite area it, it is quickly giving me that view that we are in this range okay and uh, uh, that is the first thing to start with okay we have uh, just a second I'm not able to just a second yeah okay now the next part is uh, identifying with respect to the uh, volume profile levels okay where we are with respect to the volume profile levels whether we are forming uh, you know and i'm looking at the session volume profile or the day volume profile okay if i were trading the us market sometimes i'm looking at the session profile but because it's indian markets we are generally one day and one session is more or less the same we are looking at the day volume profile so what has happened is if you see value area wise where what are you doing so if you see back to back this value area was more or less overlapping yesterday the value area for example has moved higher so value area is where we can say that we are trying to trend up where higher value is forming what does it mean it simply means that more buyers and sellers are interested to transact at a higher level okay so that is where we do the you know value area analysis the third is then eventually what we are trying to do is uh, now once I have identified that so value area wise it is trend up uh, you know structure wise it is probably range bound so the more confluences we get where okay value area suggesting let's say long structure suggesting long the, the better it becomes when there are multiple when these data is conflicting then I'm more cautious and, and I'm looking for a concrete breakout or a breakdown or looking for in range pullbacks okay when the data is conflicting in terms of multiple factors okay then what i'm trying to do is uh, identifying the zones for the zones what i'll simply do is i'll i'll give preference to yesterday's ranges etc in this case if you see or in recent data points as i said in this case if you see uh, the, the, you know price here what did it do yesterday went up down and then form a lower high and then sort of form lower so what we want to see is if uh, you know uh, let's say the price closing trend was down and and if there are other and then price close below this uh, you know value area ranges etc so what we are seeing is okay until we are staying below 640 650 i'll try to keep a short bias if you are trying to hold above 640 650 then i'll get a long bias that is so i i this is the you know trend i'll go with why 640 650 there's a clear lvn here there's a clear price structure confluence here and then it is on sitting on top of the recent value area highs etc we also have you know around 680 the composite value area so expecting that between 650 700 it could chop around a bit and then once you get a clear shoot above 700 then we can long alternative is we try to go up hit the 650 680 barrier okay and then fail to clear that range and then again you know start the downward journey back so again 650 uh, 670 this these areas where i look for uh, saying that okay market uh, market might uh, kind of turn around so long bias above short bias below okay that is one plan and then i'm also looking at the order flow for the day or the previous session to see whether uh, you know we have any confluence or anything else luckily what we have here is if you see 640 650 we, 660 areas we have a nice imbalance down and then market stayed below this zone so this makes this level of 640 50 60 further more important and saying that unless we clear this zone up it has to be biased below we clear this zone below you know we stay below it has to be short stay above it has to be long on the other side if you're looking let's say we're assuming that market you know cannot probably break below and if it's let's say starts holding 450 480 areas okay this is because there are a lot of lvn structure here the while well, there is no volume here so below these ranges if there are no volume means that the sellers are not interested here so what we'll see is okay if it starts holding this 450 areas and you know on the move down then I, I i will try to see whether we can trade a pullback long or not primary scenario hit 650 660 short below if we gap up and which might be a case and if you start holding 650 then long above and you know again a move below uh, 450 uh, potential swing shots hold into 450 reversal and continue to stay in this zone, zone for this week okay these are the uh, and also for execution what i'm looking at now the third part is execution 
I'm looking at the opening candle, the opening candle range, the opening candle and order flow and the structure. If it's order flow is bullish, structure is bullish, it's a good confluence. If they're conflicting, then we can look at reversals. Okay. Then I'm looking at the impact on the zones. Once I've drawn the zone, I'm looking at the impact on the zones. What I'm looking at is to see, okay, once I start hitting this or closer to this 650, my resistance levels, are we, are we seeing any large order absorptions? Are we seeing prices exhausting? Is my theory working? So the most important part is execution where we want to see whether my theory that okay i had a theory that this is going to be resistance right and my theory is just my theory nobody cares in the market about let's say my theory but is the market respecting my theory my zones how will you confirm that that that's where you will come to the order flow in real time execution you'll see whether buyers are struggling there or not when it hits there or no buyers are starting to hold there and there are sellers who are not able to pull this down if you see that then we look for a long play. Uh, alternative is we see buyers exhausting, buyers not able to show strength, some large order traps, etc. Then we you know look for a short below. Okay, so that is where I use the order flow. Order flow insights. I keep on sharing with the FNO traders community every day, uh, just to help you build that context. But again, uh, this is the core construct of approaching my trading plan. Hope this was helpful. Thank you, guys.